Hi guys, I'm back with another episode for you to see and today we're going to be showing you this fun card. It's really kind of um, almost a fresh and clean kind of look for me, but I think you'll like it and there's some fun stuff here. So just to give you a quick recap on what we're going to be using, I've got the Spellbinders A2 uh, bracket borders. Love these. They're among my favorites. I'm also using the Heartfelt Creations Delicate Asters. These are stunning. And if you do post your cards, perfect flower for that because they stay nice and flat for you. And for stamps, we're going to be using the Just Right Celebrations Labels 1. And there's some fun stuff in here and those borders match those bracket dies perfectly. Okay. And I am also going to be using one of my designs, the uh, A4 embossing folder, the Cascading Hearts. It's a beautiful design too. And let's get started. So first off, we're going to do our background, okay? So I've got the cascading hearts and I'm just gonna do a little piece. And we're gonna go ahead and I've taken and just rounded the corners there. I'm gonna do a little bit of taping. I'm a big advocate of that. Just catch the edge there so it doesn't move around. Hold your folder. Let's get our plates. And I'm gonna need, the sandwich is going to be my base plate, which is the gray one my folder with the card. I'm going to put a little bit of a shim right in the center and that just helps it give it a real nice even um, pressure on the embossing all the way across and then the raspberry adapter plate. And we're going to run it through the Grand Caliber. Now if you've never used a Grand Caliber, you're in for a treat if you have one of these. The, um, it does a large area all at once so you can do more crafting quicker. And it's so easy, you just roll it right through like that. And take it apart and let's set that to the side. Open this up and you can see we've got a beautiful emboss here. Let me untape this. And when you have used your removable tape and you're doing embossing, do peel it off really slowly because you don't want to rip it and because it's actually embossed into that pattern as well, you could if you um, pull too quickly, okay? So you can see I've just got a beautiful emboss there. You can see those hearts coming through really, really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tape them into place using some double-sided scotch tape here. And this happens to be my particular um, choice tool for putting my cards together. I've used it for years and I, I just love this. And we now have this available for you through Creative Expressions. So we're gonna put that on. Oh, in fact, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a little mounting foam. And raise this piece up. That'll be extra secure. Put that on the top here. And that looks pretty good. There we go, put that down. Now, what I've already done is I've taken the bracket borders and I'm using this decorative edge here. Let's see, this one right here, which has got kind of a, um, a debossed area coming through with a straight line. And I've cut three of these and I've gone ahead and sandwiched them so they're stacked on top of each other, kind of like a little petticoat look to it. So you didn't need to see me cutting all those all the time. So I thought I'll go ahead and put them on next. Same thing, just tape them into place. A couple pieces of double-sided tape here. And we're gonna put them right about here. A Little bit over. There we go, okay. And next we're gonna do some stamping. So let me move this to the side. I am going to be using the border die that's from the Celebrations Label 1. And I'm gonna ink this up with my clear perfect medium. And I'm gonna use it onto this little piece here. So let's just make a little bit of room here. Do a little inking. And just tap it back and forth and get it real nice and inky. Hmm. And I'll tell you what I like to do when I am stamping clear stamps, I like to have something that's a little spongy under what I stamp. Um, a piece of U mount works well if you have it. I'm going to use the tan mat since it's handy. And I'm going to just line this up with the back of this and just kind of get it as straight as I can and push that down over that. Give it a good press all the way across. Go. Looks lovely. And so I'm going to use my white embossing powder. And I've got a just a little bit of a um, paper here that I can use to pour it back in. So let's do that. In fact, I'll tell you what, I've used that for something else on that side. So we're going to use this side. Just 
pour it all over that and tap it off. Oh, come on. Get a hold of it. There we go. And I'm going to heat that. And it just melts as you go along, so it's really easy to do. If you've never done any kind of embossing before, it's almost like magic. Just brings that out so pretty. Isn't that nice? Okay, and now let me get this back into the container because we don't want to waste it. There we go. I'll have to clean up my area afterwards. Put my lid on. Okay, and we're going to cut the bottom edge of that off using the die. So here it is. We're just going to tape that into place. Get it right up there because it kind of follows that same shape. Such a pretty, pretty die shape for this. Okay, so that looks pretty even. Um, get my cutting plates. I need the white cutting plate. And if you've never seen the Grand Caliber before, this is originally starts out white. And the more you use it, the more you're going to see this kind of look to it. Nothing to worry about. Perfectly normal. Uh, it just means it's well loved. I'm going to run that through. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to run it back through just to make sure we get a good cut on it. Okay. That should have done it. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. Peel your tape off. There we go. Toss that piece. We want this lovely piece here. So you can see how nice that cut. Isn't that beautiful? So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. Let's move some things out of your way here and add this to our card. A little bit of double sided tape will do the trick, I think. Pop that on. Oop, tiny bit more. Get it good and secured. And I'm going to leave just, um, just a little bit of a border there, I think. That should be about right. There we go. Um, and next we're going to do some flower cutting. So we're going to bring our board back. Now what I've got here, it's kind of fun. I wanted to show you that you don't always have to cut your flowers out of cardstock. Um, here I'm using the largest size on the Delicate Aster and I've just got tissue paper. This is the kind that you get when somebody gives you a present and you know they've wrapped it around there. You just save this and you can use it to cut your dies with. So I'm going to pop that on there and I'm just going to try and be real ginger about it. And then I think I'll go ahead and do this one at the same time. So let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead and tape this one on there. I'm going to use this in a little bit for my sentiment. So I'm going to pop that right there. and. This particular die set has an inside and an outside. It's your Fancy Frame Tags 2 by Spellbinders. There we go. So you can kind of see, get it nice and even. And I'll tell you, that's just as a habit, put a little bit of tape on that too. We're going to pop that through. And this should cut real easily. So let's just pop it through the machine one time. Just roll it all the way through. You might hear some popping. Oh, we're good. And take this one. And I think I want to get a little bit of embossing on that to bring out the beauty. This one, I don't think I need that. So you can see how well that's cut. We'll set that to the side for the moment. Change this out and put our tan mat on here because we want to get a nice embossed finish on that. And the embossing just brings the detail of the die out. Um, sometimes I do emboss, sometimes I don't. Depends on what it is, but on something like this tag, I think it would be really, really pretty to show it. There we go. Move these to the side. Yes, that's gorgeous. Let me move those and I'll show you what we've got here. So this is going to create a frame. Let me take it apart. In fact, we can store that back there. And that tape is removable, but you can reuse it too. So I tend to keep it on the side of my table as I'm working. And we just need to pop out the little bits here. There we go. So you can see, oop, there we go. See how pretty that frame is. It's gorgeous. Now I've gone ahead and I've cut, or excuse me, I've stamped a sentiment here. And I've kind of generally taken that shape and rounded it already. 
but I'm gonna glue this onto there and I probably will have to touch it up just a tiny bit more. So put a little bit of the Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. This holds everything. It's my absolute favorite glue of choice. And we'll see if we can center that right over there. Yes, we're definitely gonna to have to trim just a tiny bit more around there. Um, take some little scissors. And I find it's easy just to kind of get a little pair of scissors and just kind of hold it into place where you want it and work it around and get back underneath it like that. Oops, don't cut your pieces off. There we go. And trim it around. And like that. So now it doesn't show around the edges there. Okay, so set that aside. I'm gonna put a little piece of foam mounting on the back of that, and we'll add that in a second. All right, so coming back to my flower. So I've got all these little pieces here. I'm gonna take this apart. And because your um, paper almost will compress together, what you'll need to do is very, very gently peel them apart, okay? See how fine they are? Just peel them apart one by one. Now, I've gone ahead and done this ahead of time, but what you wanna do is just offset them and then glue in the center, okay? So that gives you a really nice flower. And you can add more pieces if you like. You can you know, make it however you want it, however bushy. I like to kind of grab it a little bit and give it a little bit of um, texture to it too, so it's not so flat. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put a bow, and I've got a little messy bow. This is what I call a messy bow. I use three strands of seam binding, and I just let the loops go where they want. They're just, they're just kind of fun. So this is the zircon color, absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use a glue dot, and we'll just put that into place. Set that over to the side here. And then we're gonna use another glue dot to seat the flower on top of that kind of a little bit in front of it actually, about like that. So I've got that ready to go, okay. I'll go ahead and put my sentiment into place. I'm gonna put that up in the top corner here. And I'm gonna show you what I did with the center of the flower. Now I have started with a clear dazzler. In fact, we've got some here. I'll show you what they look like in the, in the packages. So I've come in a couple of different sizes. Um, I've used the, well, this is called the medium, this is the large here, but I'm gonna use the medium. And I'm using some Adirondack snow cap mixative alcohol ink, okay? Now this has got a, a blending ball in it, so you just wanna give it a shake until you can hear that blending ball. And then take the lid off and drip it all over. And just make sure you've got all of it covered. And I've got a little piece of black card underneath because it will drip off so you want to make sure that whatever you have it on it's something that uh, you don't have to worry about and just make sure it's all covered like that and then set it aside to dry and what you end up with is a beautiful white dazzler it's all completely finished so I'm going to go ahead and put that on with a glue dot right in the center of my flower right there and that just kind of brings that flower to life a little bit. And to finish off the card, and I won't do them all, but I will just put a few um, pearls down the channel here. So I've got just a couple we'll put down here. There we go, that should work. And I've got some white flat back pearls. Let me move that. And we're just going to pop them off into place, giving a really pretty little look. And you can do different sizes. That's what I did on the original, but I'll show you here just to give you a quick look what they look like finished again. So there you go. I've got the card completed for you. A fun little tissue paper flower, a new look for your Dazzler, and so much fun that you can have when you're crafting on your own.